Hi guys, I'm Jeff. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Today, I'm gonna do an open box for an electric unicycle called Nightbot One E model. Uh, as you can see, this is the package. It weighs about 19 kilograms, and the item itself weighs about 14 kilograms. Uh, I used UG UPS as my shipment company. It took about four or five days for it to arrive uh, here in Melbourne. Uh, it was started in Shenzhen, China, so considering the distance, it's not too bad. All right, now I'm going to open the box and then let's have a look what's inside together. As you can see, it is nicely packed, and uh, inside there's another box here. As you can see, right. here we go. Apparently they pack it upside down, so when I actually turn it around, it, it turns out to be the right direction. <sighs> Alright, this is the box, which I received. Alright, this is how it looks like. It looks very creamy. Uh, I like the box itself by now. Alright, that's how it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna open the box. Here we go. Well, as, as you can see, actually in the corner here, it says what the color is, what the model is, and about the weight. C14, that's how, how, how heavy this unit is. All right. All right, I might just let it down. I do like the fact they actually used a recycled paper-based frame to put it in rather than use those uh, synthetic foam or anything else. So, well, I, I actually admire the fact that they used this. Well, although on this package, this plastic one, there's no sign of warning for not to, you know, give it to children to use, they might chop them or something. Uh, that's something that could work out in the future. All right, here. I've actually read the menu before I got the package because uh, the company actually uploaded the menu on their website and I was told that there will be two packs of protective uh, material like this. So what exactly they do is actually, they were meant to be, uh, something like this and then what do you do, you just put it on the unit and they protect it from scratching and stuff and uh, Originally, this is for baby protection. You put it around your furniture. But as soon as people find this useful for electric unicycle, they've been used everywhere. All right, this is the warranty sheet and the manual and a quick start menu. All right, let's take a look at the baby itself. All right, before that, before that. All right, this is the charging. Adapter. 
All right, two, two parts. This is part one. And this is part two. As you can see, uh, the plug is com it's compatible with the Australian standard, but if they try harder, as, as, so as soon as they put it on installation on these two pins, it easily can be modified into an Australian, st Australian standard uh, plug, so that will be no problem. This is a big thing. All right, this is something that not exactly the original package. This is something uh, they sent out as a gift for the first few buyers, or uh, first couple of hundred buyers. If you buy it on, on a website and they give you this, what this is, is um, attachment. It's attachment on the unit, so you can actually put on accessories where you're used with your bicycles around here and here, the two walls, like a structure where you can actually use cable tie or something to actually put your stuff on it, like a light, like uh, those uh, GPS unit and stuff. Uh, as you can see, they actually given you uh, the screw and a 3M sticker type of thing for protection, okay? All right. Last. It's this baby. All right. It's well. It weighs quite a bit. The handle itself is actually much bigger than I expected. The unit itself is actually about the size that I anticipated. Um, it looks beautiful. On my unit, there's no much scratch, but there's a lot of uh, chops from the package because this it's paper recycled and stuff. So it's not actually as clean as those uh, synthetic foam tile things. So it does leave a little dirt on it, but it looks fantastic, yeah? There are two, there are two um, holes here. You can, you can see threads in them, so I believe they're actually for accessories or, or something, you know, come up on market later. And at the back of it, there's another one. I was told that is for the parking unit. So what they're gonna have is you're gonna have a, a attachment where you actually fit here, and somehow it's gonna help the unit stand on itself. All right, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration. I was told this unit can stand on itself if you put it right, just like that. So it actually can stand on itself, as you can see. Sorry, I won't scratch my machine. Okay. All right. Uh, as the review by the first few uh, owners of this unit, the form seems a little bit too hard or not soft enough for them to actually rest their legs on. And uh, I can tell you that's true. Actually, this the, the the soft part of this thing is a little too thin. As you press down, you can feel whatever inside is actually pretty uh, harsh or pr pretty firm, strong plastic or metal type of thing. So the best thing that they could do is actually they reduce the size of the pad, but whatever they cover it on top, they probably should double the thickness of it and make it softer. That's the pedal. Yeah, that's the pedal. As you can see, it actually, Rather than one piece of uh, aluminium, as what people are using right now, it's actually a synthetic or a composite structure. On the first layer, it's aluminium or magnesium. Uh, beneath it, there's a, a rubber mat with the roofs, so increase the friction, so you don't really slip when you ride on it. And at the bottom, I think that's that's probably metal as well, uh, painting silver on the other side, it's the same thing, okay? That is a piece of rubber, that is a piece of rubber, and the, as you can see, they must have done test rides on this one, because you can, I can feel this dirt on the, on the mat, but I believe that's something standard they do in the factory, because before they send out every unit, they have to test the balance of it, and to see whether whether it has been you know tuned up to the to, to the best uh, condition. 
All right, I'm gonna turn on the power, okay? So this is the handle, by the way. This is the handle they mentioned, which it's flexible. When you ride, you put it down. When you when you actually uh, when you actually have to have to hold it, you put it like you hold it like this. You put these two pads on, and you hold it like this. Uh, you know what? This weighs a fair bit, but uh, I can I can see I can see myself actually carry this around because. It's just so cool, it's like a man bag. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the power, see how it behaves. Alright, the power is on. I'm not too sure whether you can see clearly or not. There's green lights around this area. Um, I read the menu so I know that this indicates your battery uh, level. So I would assume if we go all the way up to the top, it's full. From what I can see here, it's probably up to 80% full of battery. Uh, at the back of it, it's the charging plug socket where the, the, the plug goes into. Because uh, I own another electric unicycle, so I can tell this is not actually a standard one. It's a special type of socket, only will work with the original adapter. Okay, but the protection cover, I do like it. And there's a QR code. I was told that is actually for them to trace down the unit when they go back to the factory for repair and stuff. So they they know who distribute them. They know who actually you know sold them in the past. Right. Okay. That's about it. I'm gonna turn it on. And I was told if you tap on here, something happens. You can see the lights. It turns. Because apparently that's a sensor around this area. When we actually tap it, you change the light effect on this unit, which is fantastic. I'll do it again. You see the lights? Should be another light. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, you have to use a bit of force, so you hear the beep from the unit, okay? Now, because it's a brand new unit and I haven't actually put in any protective uh, form type of thing, so I'm gonna ride it for now, but soon I'm gonna do a review on the riding experience on this unit. But so far, as I can see, this is for sure the best looking and best design uh, electric unicycle you can find in the market. Even the more expensive ones won't have as good finish as this one. And this thing just looks like a 20, 22nd uh, century product, actually. Uh, the only thing I would argue is actually the bottom itself. Red, seriously, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. The whole body, there's no such color of red. I would actually put it as blue as this, or black, or even white, where fitting the whole design better, but somehow they, they put it back. I guess they have a reason, okay? Uh, as I showed you guys before, the attachment, the, the attachment frame actually goes up right here. As you can see right here, so your lights will be able to just hang up right here and facing forward when you actually rise in the dark. But uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna use it. But to be to be frank with to be frank with you, I don't really want to use this unit because my concern might be when you put this on, right? Uh, there's a quite a good chance when you actually fall on this uh, unicycle, this thing is gonna snap, and it's gonna snap not because this is steel, so probably it will just get bended. But this hole. It's pretty fragile, and if you snap it around here, this might actually open the whole area. So I don't really like that idea. So I would, I would much prefer something uh, smaller, which you can actually fit in the space here, or nothing at all. I don't like the idea of using a screw to put it on here, because it might snap something. That's just my personal idea, and uh, well, if the manufacturer sees this video, they might want to you know, do a little modification. Apparently, I, I was told they are very flexible at the moment, in terms of uh, hearing people's feedbacks, because they know the first unit cannot be perfect at once. So they're actually doing uh, some modification on the new units at the moment. So this is not actually a, a real end product. This, I would consider this is actually a, 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 pro, a prototype as well, even though it's the production unit. 
it's 1.0, I would say. Uh, sooner they're going to release 1.01 and 1.02, which they do modification around the edges here and the pad here to make it softer. All right. If they can, I would recommend they actually do something about this handle, make a little bit of up and down here, so you tell people where exactly you want them to hold it, and they will just hold it there, because this one is not a closed like handlebar type of thing. If people uh, hold it on a different spot, they might actually drop this thing. So you want to exactly tell them where to hold it and make it softer, so, so when they hold it, they feel more comfortable. All right, so this is today's review. I, uh, I believe this is actually a very long review. Thanks for watching. Thank you.